everyone! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches Show. Today we've got a crochet quick fix project for you on this little earbud cozy. This little cozy will fit your earbuds whether they're wireless or have a cord attached to them and you don't need very much yarn for this project. This is another in our little collection of tidy up and organize uh, projects designed to help you keep your small spaces like your bags and purses a little better organized. I'm using a size 3 lightweight yarn today. This is also known as a sport weight or a baby weight. You need very little, about 60 yards or 20 grams, and it's a great project to use up your self-striping, variegated or solid colors on. You're also going to want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook I'm using is a 3.25 millimeter, hard to see there, also known as a D or a 3 in the US. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to begin by making a cinch circle. After you've chained one to secure your cinch circle, you're going to work eight single crochet into your circle. Make sure you're working over top of that little short tail because that's how we're going to cinch the circle shut when we're done. Once you have eight single crochet worked into your little cinch circle, grab the short tail, cinch it up nice and tight. You can work over top of your short tail or weave it in later, it's up to you. We are not joining our rows, we are working in a continuous round. So the first stitch of the previous row becomes the place where we work the first stitch of our next row. So into that first stitch of row one, just get your hook in there, you're going to work two single crochet into that stitch. I'm going to work over top of my short tail here. So two single crochet into the first stitch as we begin our round and you're going to work two single crochet into each of the next seven stitches as well. So we're going to move from a stitch count of eight in row one to a stitch count of 16 at the end of row two. At the end of row two you should have 16 stitches. We're going to do one more row of increasing now and our increase pattern for row three is two single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the stitch after that. And that's the little pattern we're going to repeat all the way around eight times in total. So that's one set. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the stitch after that. That's two sets done. You're going to repeat that six more times and at the end of row three you'll be up to 24 stitches. At the end of row three, you should have 24 stitches. And now we're going to work several rows of just straight single crochet. So rows four through 15, you're just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So there's no more increasing, no decreasing to worry about, just single crochet in each stitch. You can turn your brain off for a little while. <laughs> just continue to single crochet. The number of stitches around your circle will always be 24. It's not going to change, so just keep single crocheting and I'll catch up with you at the end of row 15. At the end of row 15 you can add a couple more stitches just sort of single crochet a few more times three or four times until your last stitch lines up with that little bump where row one turns into row two and you can see it right there and if you just sort of track your thumb all the way up you want to end somewhere about the same um, same line away from that just to even things up. There's an easy way to count your rows. You should be able to see them pretty clearly. So that little one in the middle is row one, row two, row three, row four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen rows in total. At the end of row fifteen we're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and we're closing off having worked in the round. So now you've got just the cutest little <laughs> container here. We're going to add a drawstring row now. So this is a, an eyelet row for our drawstring. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into the same stitch that we chained one out of. So just single crochet right into that same stitch. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to chain one 
and skip a stitch. So we're skipping the next stitch. And now we're going to repeat. We're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, chain one, skip the next stitch, and continue. Single crochet into the next two stitches, chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next two stitches, chain one, skip one. You're going to repeat that all the way around. You'll have done it eight times in total, so that little repeater gets done eight times in total. I'll hook up with you when we get back to the beginning. When you get back around to the beginning, we've got one real stitch left and then this little thing. So this is the little false stitch. It sits right at the bottom of that little chain one. And there's the first real single crochet. So single crochet, single crochet. We want to chain one. We want to skip over the real stitch, ignore the slips, the little false stitch here and the chain one. You just want to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet you made. And before we finish, we're just going to make a little tiny hanging loop. So we're going to chain eight. Got a little knot here, that's fine. Um, we're going to chain eight, slip stitch back into the same stitch that we just came out of. I'm just going to weave in that little knotted tail. And then this little loop here, just like I've got on this one, makes it really handy to pin or clip this on the inside of your bag. You can tie it to something because it's a built-in loop. You could even thumbtack it to your bulletin board, wherever you feel it's necessary to hang that little sack with your earbuds in it. You can now trim your yarn. Fasten off. Weave in your tails, including any little tails you might have <laughs> from yarn joins. <laughs> and then we're going to make a little drawstring. In order to make a quick, simple drawstring, we're just going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 60, six zero. Once you've got a chained length of 60, you can snip your yarn. Fasten off, and then pull on both of those ends nice and tight so that those little knots don't want to come undone. And then you can line up those two knots and just trim those tails because they don't have to be very long. Then in order to weave our little drawstring through the uh, eyelet row of our little bag here, we're going to start in the front, so start opposite your little chained loop. You're going to thread your tail up in your yarn needle. It should be pretty skinny, so you should be able to do it. Find a chain one space between your single crochets. And you're just going to weave your drawstring back and forth in between so back and forth through those chain one spaces all the way around. Once you've got your little drawstring all woven through, you can fold up your earbuds, or if you've just got the wireless ones, they'll fit in there nice and neat and tidy too. Tuck them inside, and then you can pull tight on your drawstring, tie a little bow, and you can clip it or pin it to the inside of your backpack or your bag, thumbtack it to your bulletin board, wherever you want to keep your earbuds nice and safe and tidy and cozy. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed making this little earbud cozy pattern along with us today, and we will see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everyone. This is Mama and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.